Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss to himself. Woe to us when grief turns to rage. Not his best work, it doesn't even rhyme. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Sammy and the Cloud. This is my Pro Showcase look at Kronos Before the Ashes. Uh, this is a game that dropped on Stadia Pro earlier today, 1st of June 2021. Uh, I haven't played it before. I believe it was on, on platform a few months before this, uh, maybe towards the beginning of the year. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, leave a comment down in chat if you think I'm horribly wrong, and I'll respond to it saying, yes, of course, you're right. I should have known that. Uh, this is reading for the description. It says an it's an atmospheric RPG, easy for me to say. Uh, chronicles the hero's lifelong quest to save our home land from a great evil. Uh, it also mentions later on down here, each time your hero dies, they lose a year of their life. So I suspect my hero might be about 150 years old by the time I finish. Depends how old they are when they start. Obviously, they're more uh, 15, 20 years old, they might be 170. By the time they, uh, they finish the game. But in the meantime, I have claimed the game as part of my pro subscription. But let's get into it by clicking the play button on Stadia.com. And we're into the game already. The wonders of Stadia and cloud gaming. Uh, make sure you read the important safety information from Stadia. Oops. And we're into the game. Uh, this is one of four pro games out this month. Uh, along with MotoGP 20, uh, Trials of Cold Steel 3, and uh, Blue Fire. I'll be doing videos for each of those. Are you ready to check them out on my channel? Make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure you've got all the content as it goes out live. Uh, Gunfire Games. Looks like Red Dead Redemption 2, that uh, ident. Uh, another game powered by Unreal Engine. There's a lot of those coming out this month. Now I'll just move the mouse out of the way, but we've got in the options. So you can see their intro subtitles. I'm going to enable those because the game volume is a little bit quieter on the recording. So I want to make sure that everything's, uh, you can see everything there. Camera sensitivity, let's keep that where it is for the moment. Uh, invert cameras, I might need to change those depending on how they're set. Uh, we have controls. So inventory is the pause button. We've got Dragonstone ability. Uh, B is to dodge or sprint. You've got light attack, heavy attack on the shoulder and the trigger on the right. Uh, block and shield parry on the shoulder and the trigger and the left hand side. Uh, we've got an ignite weapon. I presume that means we've got a flaming sword at some point or something similar. I don't know. It could be a flaming catapult for all I know. I've never played this game before. Uh, we're going to go for a. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, sword. For a male adventure, we've got a sword. Sword or axe. Uh, I prefer to strike quick and dodge. Pick this weapon. Or I stand my ground and block incoming attacks. And uh, no, I'm going to use the agility based weapon there. I'm going to go for casual difficulty as well because I don't know what to expect from this game. And I'm trying to get through and give you guys a good, good idea of the game. So it's pointless me putting it on hard difficulty and dying five times before you even got out of a tutorial level. Let's load in the game and see how it plays on Stadia. Come, sit. I am sitting. Listen well. Tonight I speak to you the tale. Tale of the Scour. Long past, world was different. Towers of metal and stone scraped the sky. People roamed free, never hid, never feared. Thousands of us, tens of thousands. Not like our tiny tribes. Then came the beasts. 
From inside one of the rusted places. Hunted us. Drove us into the cracks and crevices. Came the beasts on orders. Directed by the will of one. The dragon. Was him scoured our world? Scours it still from where he hides. You're our bravest, young one. Smartest. Best. Once a year, in the darkest of the rusted places, the great stone wakes. Opens the way to the other world. When it does, you will go through. You will find the dragon. And you will kill it. Get thrown back out for the deed is done. You might. But you will use that year. Grow stronger, wiser, till the stone wakes again, and you keep going back. To your last breath, you keep going back. Till the dragon dies. Or you do. So that was a very interesting opening part scene. That sort of sets the scene for the game. Um, obviously, we're trying to reclaim the world from well, from this dragon creature. There's one one opportunity we get each year to go through the portal and kill the dragon. If we manage to uh, kill the dragon, brilliant. Game over. Success. Huzzah. Parties for all. If we don't, then uh, we'll be drawn back out of the portal and we can use the year to recover, to build, to make ourselves stronger, to go in again the next year wiser, more hopeful, and hopefully the party will be the following year. So it's giving me a hint, which is very useful. So press B to evade an attack and hold B to sprint. So that was a press to hold to the attack, and um, that's not much of a sprint, but I suppose that sword and shield could be reasonably heavy. Game seems fairly responsive. Uh, holding B whilst you got the analog stick moving means he'll roll in a particular direction. If you got it still, he'll just back away like. That was the heavy attack and the light attack. Press A to interact and we'll call the elevator. That's a big elevator. To be fair, but judged by the doors, that could well be a service elevator. We don't know. That dragon might need to uh, use it to get up and down on the floors. Now this looks like there's some flame coming through from somewhere, but I can't see where from. Where's the light source for all of this? Hmm. So around here. Go back this way. Usually there'll be something like collectibles. I don't see anything that will allow me to jump. So I believe that this character obviously can't jump. Um, he can walk, he can run, but he can't jump. Maybe, maybe he'll learn to jump later. There's another elevator. So far we've been in two elevators. And we've pressed a few buttons, both on the controller and in game.
and we saw a red room that looked like there was flames coming through it, but we couldn't see where the fire was coming from. It is actually quicker to roll, so I'm going to do that instead. What's this? We've got some old tech. Axum Series 980 CPU. Blimey. That's even old computer I use. Access denied. Emergency lockdown in effect. So, okay, presumably we get to find out how to fix that later on. You think that's just lucky timing of a fun thunderstorm behind us? Yeah, it might well have been. Again, I want to jump, but I can't. I'm just going to hold B to sprint. And some more, some more tech. Nothing there either. Okay. It's our third elevator of the game so far. We see no one else other than the old woman at the start of the game. Ah, this is a red siren light. And there we go, there's our first other person. He's dead. And now we're seeing everyone dead. So please vacate the building immediately. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can interact with any of these machines. Being told to vacate the building immediately would... Small key. Okay, distinct 90s uh, Doom and Quake style vibes from this in terms of... The levels look fairly simple at the moment anyway. All a bit mysterious, all a bit creepy. There's going to be something that's happening soon, I'm sure. Oh, when inspecting the object, use pause button to bring up the use item radial. Okay, so that's system locked. But I have that key. Hold on, hints, using items. Well, hold on, because I've got that key. Let's put that key and see, see what happens. There we go. You're testing internal systems, it's fell. Boot menu. Uh -huh. So, mainframe access. What have we got? Mainframe online. Oh, number 88. Reports. So we've got some reports, but not all of them. Let's go for the first one, January. Largest group of candidates, or the latest group of candidates, seem to be acclimatising better than the last. Dr. Harsgaard has recommended we keep them in chairs longer than the allotted six hours. This seems a little bit tortury. So far we've got some very little usable intel from the dreamers. Yeah, this looks very, very um thoughtful. Um I'm entirely sure how I feel about this. This is file corrupted. We can't open that. Okay, April 7th. Construction of a new device is proceeding as planned. Ford and his team were able to solve a few remaining issues using intel from one of the dreamers. I'm like having a team to use the device. We've been funnily calling it Datler, which is Dimensional Aperture Translocation Operatus. Or Apparatus, as I'm sure that will call it. Uh, we'll report our findings as soon as the team returns. Okay. 1968, so this is pre moon landings. As of today, Ward 17 is an active operation. A new candidate has been selected and placed in the chair. This is the chair again. Uh, Asgard really seems pleased with readings. They are much stronger than anything thus far. 
all the other dreamers are on full 24 hour rotations meaning at this point they never leave the chairs oh goody so we've now confined people to chairs Captain Ford and his team returned from a trip through the Dattler. Okay. Okay, so they went through and they didn't come back. What's all this got to do with the dragon? Came back. Oh no, this was that's the report we've already done. Oh. And then June 21st, automated report, emergency lockdown initiated. Okay. So something happened. June 21st. Let's have a look through base control. Uh, let's disable the emergency lockdown. Why not? Don't see any reason why. Initiate ex executive order 13. Why not? Unable to initiate order, order error code 88. That's the same error code that we had before, which was the mainframe access. Okay. Now we've got the lockdown over with, much as the whole world is hoping the same, I think. This is 1968, it was a wooden shield. Which way do we go? Let's go this way. That's Ward 16. Key card access only. So I need to find a key card somewhere. So keep an eye out on the floor because that's where we found the the key to unlock the computer. Right? There's some chairs. Oh no, chairs! Wait. Wait, what's who's that? Who's who's that there? He looks I don't know, he looks uh, fairly fairly bad work. I'm not not convinced I'm gonna enjoy meeting him. Can't hold B and sprint forever. There is a a stamina bar, it's the silvery grey bar underneath the red bar. The red bar is presumably health. That might that might become important when we start meeting that guy with horns on top of his head. Key card access ready for my inventory, so hmm. Sure, what to do now? Walk through a little slower. Up through that door. Again, nothing in the inventory that helps us get through that door. Looking on ground, this is back to that viewing gallery we had. We'll look around here just in case, because this is where people would have been. So, if one of them dropped something, which is presumably the logic we're going to follow. Retrace our steps back in here. Here's the office that we were in earlier. This is that's a computer we debugged or unlocked rather. Debugged, that'd be another thing that people comment in the videos about say you got this wrong. 
I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to. No. I wouldn't condone this normally, but these these guys are, are dead. They might have a key card on them and they're not going to be using it. Are, are we able to take their key card? Let's see if we can trace our steps all the way back. It might be there was something in that other computer. Because you notice we spotted two computers. We spotted one outside. And then there was another one we spotted. That's the one we unlocked. Gonna look through this room. So I don't really like playing games like the original Doom, the original Quake, because it did turn into if you missed something, you have to go all the way back to work out where it was, and then no mind I've probably gone a bit too far back now. There's the computer we were going for. Then system diagnostic, testing up link fail, error code 88, always error code 88. Testing data, warning code 16, so can we initiate, initialize it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, touch it, of course. It shows me what parcel door. So I can travel, so is that, is that fast travel in this game? Find out in a minute. Where would I be fast traveling to? It'd just be back to the beginning of the level. Oh no. No, this this looks distinctly different. Indeed, there is there's the parcel. Through the door. Uh, it's telling me how to attack. That normally means I'm going to have to attack in a minute. That seems fairly easy. So it's a mixture of R1 and R2. I could have did I could have used charged heavy attack. I didn't. That's basically it. Let's see if I can use one here. Oh, I need to be facing the right way for it, so let's... There we go, and he disintegrates away in a puff of black circles. Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss than himself. Woe to us when grief turns to... Not his best work, does even rhyme? Just, just in case I find a key card that opens a, a nice big electronic door in this medieval castle. Because you never know. This game has rapidly changed places. I didn't wonder what game I was playing earlier. I thought this game looked like a medieval type thing. I was stuck in the middle of the 20th century. This looks a lot more like the game I was expecting by block. Block incoming attacks by pressing and holding L1. 
that will decrease stamina. Uh, L2 will shield power successfully time shield power will repulse the enemy attack standing momentarily. To be honest, I'm just going to attack from with R1. He's got fire. I'm going to, going to kill him quicker. Quite why I couldn't force him to... Oh. Oh, there's something flashing there. A shimmering splinter of stone seems drawn to your weapons. Select a weapon in your inventory and press X to upgrade that weapon. So let's do that. It says press Y to upgrade the weapon. But I am indeed pressing X and I think I need three of those shining shimmering splinters of stone. I, I can't remember exactly. I know there's no vegetables. Okay, there's a a baddie down there. We fought for us. Yes. Anyone in? No. The king has decreed the temple off limits. Stop all work immediately. No exceptions. Sar. Now that definitely doesn't rhyme. Go down those steps I'm not going to. Got the feeling there's multiple paths you could take in this game. I'm gonna go down this way and then presumably it's through that door. Lock on. Press R3 near with enemy to lock on to that. So we can have multiple enemies now. Not one for the uh, fighting mechanic. The um, I find once I've got the button, it takes about a second or two. Well, hello. What was that? I leveled up. Your character has gained a level. Each time you level up, you gain more tribute points, which can be used to upgrade your character. And you can do that in the pause menu, much like I did with upgrading weapons. Uh. Nothing through here. I'm not going to find this magical blue key card here. Hello! Do you mind awfully turning those flames off for me? So I'm pressing R1 several times. It's only really attacking once or twice. Try to unlock that door. I am able to unlock that door. I think I was going to. And now I'm back out through there. I think that's the ladder that I saw when I was over there. I think there's a fairly good point to end it. Um, it's going to pause the game. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this. Chronos Before the Ashes. I don't know what I was expecting from the game. It's a it's an RPG. I don't tend to get on with those too well. Um, depending on what other people think of the game, I might give it a second look. I'm not too convinced on that. But that's okay. Stadia Pro isn't going to have 30 games that everyone wants to play all the time. It doesn't need that. It needs the one or two games that somebody wants to play, someone else wants to play another one or two games. And that's absolutely fine. I've given you the first 20, 25 minutes of this this game 
probably a little bit less. I don't know. I've not kept track of time for this video. But you can have a look. If you enjoyed it, brilliant. Uh, you can claim the game as Stadia Pro. If you didn't like it, brilliant. You don't have to claim the game as Stadia Pro. If you want to give it a go yourself, you can. It's part of Stadia Pro. You get an idea. Stadia Pro, don't need any downloads. Don't need any updates. Don't need any installs. You have a 30 day free trial if you haven't used it before. Or it's, it's £8.99 a month from the UK. Buy it for one month. Try out this and the other games on subscription. Let us know what you think. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I've been Sammy McLeod. This has been my Stadia Pro Showcase look at Kronos Before the Ashes. See you guys soon.